trying to figure out who killed a man found dead at a Southside mobile home park. Neighbors found the man's body on Southwest Military. He had been shot in the head. And the alleged mastermind of the Fort Hood massacre is recovering in a hospital. Major Nadal Hassan was rushed to a hospital on Saturday. Officials cannot say why he was admitted. This Fox San Antonio news update was brought to you by Wayne Wright. I'm Thomas and I'm a satisfied Brain White client. After someone removed the steps from my construction office trailer, I stepped out the door and fell to the ground, injuring my back. Without Wayne Wright's legal expertise, the insurance company would have run right over me. He's got the resources to fight the big boys. Wayne Wright got me $150,779. Without a doubt, Wayne Wright's the champion for everyday folks. Call Wayne Wright now. You deserve respect and justice, so we demand it. Psychics make connection to the other sides right before your eyes. Oh my God! On the all new Rick Today Lee at Show. four on Fox San Antonio. You can't say that because I look like I should be playing ping pong in the Olympics. Margaret Cho is here. You can't say that. A huge country western star rejected by her industry because she had the guts to speak her truth. Shelly Wright. I loved myself enough to know that I could stand up. I want you to watch your adventure come together. All right, let's load this up with black people. Death Brooks Show. Hello, hello! Roll it! All right, a little about me. I'm recently married. Bye. I work with my wife on this show, and I'm learning how to be a dad to two amazing kids in a blended family. <laughs> I'm hosting a talk show because there's a lot to talk about. This is the adventure. Let's go. All right, variations on a theme today it is, I can't say that because. These are all the things that you're not supposed to say, but you're thinking, and you get caught up in if you're supposed to be politically correct, is this going to sound wrong? Are people going to judge me? All kinds of things come up for us. The question is, do you have the guts to stand up and say what you want and try to get the conversation moving? Anybody who is in the spotlight knows that going too far can ruin a career. Few people have pushed the boundaries, especially on the subject of race, like our first guest. Roll it. And when you live together, sex takes on a whole new dimension. I feel like a prostitute that works for really low rates. Never one to play it safe, comedian Margaret Cho has been making people laugh and squirm for almost 30 years. There's some stuff I don't really understand, like the G-spot. There was a spot in there that if you get it just right, it's like ding, 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 ding. And you win a stuffed animal. The target of bullies while growing up in San Francisco, Cho found an outlet and acceptance in comedy and was performing stand-up by the time she was 16. Since then, she's become famous for skewering stereotypes. But my mother does not like my tattoos. Including her Korean mother. I don't like tattoo. It's too much. I, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. She's more than a stand-up star. Cho has appeared in several sitcoms, including All-American Girl, The Cho Show, and 30 Rock. Currently, she plays the part of Terry Lee in Lifetime's hit series, Drop Dead Diva. What do you think? <laughs> Margaret Cho talking about, I can't say that because, big reaction here, a lot I of fans. I love it. I, I'm, I, I can't say it, but I'm excited. <laughs> What so, a thrill. So you really are one of the pioneers of this whole idea of people who stood up and said, I'm going to say all those things I'm not supposed to say. Right. But I think, you know, the part of it is my own identity it gives me a lot of permission to say things. Because, you know, people, when they hesitate to say things, they're really talking about, like, well, I can't, I don't want to be sexist, I don't want to be homophobic, I don't want to be racist, so I'm not going to say these things. But I am a woman, I am Asian, and I am queer. So all of those things, those identities protect me, and I'm kind of like a superhero. <laughs> you know? I can say whatever I want. And I, I think all of those isms make you a bit insurmountable. You know, you're uns unassailable in you a way. You know, it's very interesting to hear you say that because as a straight white male, 
Now, I'm not kidding. You will know this from being in this industry. I've been told so many things leading up to this talk show that I can never say. Like, you can never say that. Because, well, it'll offend people in this state. No, don't do that. It'll offend people. I just, I never thought about that. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Does this ever happen to you? On Survivor, anytime there's an Asian guy on the show or woman, they put them on the puzzle. Yeah, and the they're guy because they're going to solve it. Yes, of course they're going to solve it. They're and Asian. They're going to solve it. Yeah, and, and they're probably going to win. And the guy always says in interview, they'll go, "I don't know why they put me on the puzzle because I'm Asian. I don't know puzzles." So but we do. We, we <laughs> secretly do. I mean, it is. It is a some. It's a weird thing about racial stereotypes. It's a weird thing about cultural stereotypes. It's a strange phenomenon. When did you decide to start speaking up? Well, when I started, um, I was in comedy clubs, and I was a very young girl, and there was so much um, comedy that was really about Asian people. Like, the big joke was how Asians can't drive. And I, and I would go on stage and say, well, I, I drive very well. And people would be like, oh, my God, I can't believe this kid is saying that. They're, they're, she's calling us on what's going on. And then so I built a lot of my work on what people we're talking about that I found offensive in comedy clubs. And then from that really just kind of launched a lot of my own stuff. But it, it really was a reactionary thing. What are the big sensitivities? What are, what are the jokes that hit black people, African Americans, or people of color, depending on how you want to phrase that? I think it's really about um, where you're reinforcing stereotypes or you're reinforcing a kind of idea where people are um, listening to things that have hurt them in the past. You know, that's why I feel an uncomfortability with a lot of racial slurs because even though people in their in, in their respective groups can use them, I would never want to use a word that's hurt somebody historically. Like, but I feel like I, I describe myself as chinky all the time. Like, I have a really chinky haircut right now. And I know that it's chinky. Don't, you don't have to be upset about it. I know it's chinky. And I know, like, I look like I should be paying, playing ping pong in the Olympics. But it's, it's my choice to describe it as a kind of a racial stereotype, because to me it's funny to okay. use those words. Now, how come, this is where everything gets confusing for me. You can say it looks chinky. You can't say that! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we brought somebody here today, Brad, in the front row, mic'd up and ready to go, specifically because we found Brad, and Brad is a guy, you have trouble saying the things you want to say for fear you're going to say the wrong thing. Well, specifically, what you just said about black people, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to say black or you're supposed to say African American, but then you're saying, okay, they're from Africa. I mean, what are you going to say? Or like, uh, black and rappers make good role models. I mean, well, they, right now they're all in jail, you know, I mean, you know, <laughs> or negative, like, uh, God forbid you say anything about Obama to a black person. I mean, because to them, Obama is, cannot do anything wrong. First of all, Brad, I love that you're saying this because as a guy who's afraid to say the wrong thing, you <laughs> no, just said just several <laughs> wrong things. <laughs> so it's great. You're making progress. You don't think about Obama uh, uh, being anything other than multiracial. Sorry, interrupted. 98% of black people will vote for him. Do you feel a little more comfortable now around black guys? When the embassy was taken over, six people escaped. I need you to help me build a cover around a fake movie. If I'm doing a fake movie, it's going to be a fake hit. They know who they are, and they know they're hiding out. I'm taking them through. Argo, rated R. Get what's new and save on it right now at Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Plus, shop the TV shoot at Kohl's.com. Wow, you look delicious today. Delicious? Honestly, sometimes I think you only like me because I'm an M&M's. That's not true. Baby, what matters to me most is what's on the inside. I'm pure milk chocolate on the inside. And I love that about you. Oh, and here I thought you loved me for my brain. Is that made of chocolate too? Gosh, you're handsome. Uh, I never meant to sleep in my contacts, but... Relax. Air Optics Night and Day Aqua Contact Lenses are approved for up to 30 days and nights of continuous wear. So it's okay to sleep in them. 
Visit AirOptics.com for a free one-month trial. Lousy job, no real experience, you have a big problem. CareerPoint has the solution. I decided it was time to have a better life for my kids and myself. Getting the college education definitely helps. It's helped me better understand the things that I need to build my career. If you want a better future, call CareerPoint. Career training in as little as nine months. Change your life. Call CareerPoint College, 732-3000. Stream an epic concert while you plan a wild vacation. With Time Warner Cable, enjoy whatever you love on all your favorite devices. Stream Netflix, do homework online, watch TV shows without interruptions. Call 877-892-0096 for internet packages starting as low as $29.99 a month. Then catch up on all the shows everyone is talking about and the hot movies you've been dying to see. Say goodbye to buffering. You can even game without lag time with our fastest internet. Finally, everyone at home can be online at the same time without slowing down. Call 877-892-0096 for internet packages starting as low as $29.99 a month. Whatever you're passionate about, we invent better ways for you to share it Get lost in it and love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Breakups. Ugly breakups. I knew something was going on. He was actually divorcing me behind my back. I said, you know what? I'm going to go on YouTube, and in one week's time, everyone will know my name. And he laughed. You're a little crazy, right? No, I'm creative. Next on The Jeff Probst Show. on a theme i can't say this because you can relate to this because it's not always it's like the guy who says i'm not racist but here's a really funny racist <laughs> joke <laughs> yeah right right well it's also you know um i also think about things in different for different terms i don't think about obama uh, uh, being anything other than multiracial you know i think i don't think of him being black or white, I think of being sort of everything, and and so and and I don't know. Um, everybody has different feelings about but him, regardless of their own. Black race. people, I'm sorry, interrupted. Ninety-eight percent of black people will vote for him. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily true, or I don't know if everybody. So you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure what percentage now wait, of people wait. voting for him. Now wait, wait, now Brad, you're already regretting that comment, aren't well, you? Well, because I don't want to offend people, and I already did. But you know, but it's true. They want a black president, and it's like you can't do anything wrong. But I think what's offensive is, wanna... but you're saying that they, as if all, all of them are the same. It's not. There, everybody has a different view, regardless of their race or you know, their, their even their political. Views. We all have different so in shades a way, of being. In a way, that would be like me saying, those white guys, they all want Mitt Romney. They just all want him. Uh, right? Yeah. It's too uh, general. I don't think they know what they want. So has, has this impacted your life? Do you I, feel like you're not as honest around your friends as you want to be? Well... I mean, yeah, I mean, I have a, a lot of African-American friends, but I, I'm afraid to say certain things around them. I mean, I feel uncomfortable, like, mentioning, like, oh, I feel like, you know, I'm, my dad is going bald. I might be going bald because, God forbid, you say anything about hair to in front of a black person because they get really offended. I now, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait I'm on. This saying, is good. This is I'm, good stuff right here. Brad, you're awesome. Hang tight. <laughs> Wow, it's electric. Stand up. I'm going to go to the um, one black guy here at the show. Now, okay, before we pick on Brad, you got to say it's very, it takes a lot of courage when this is your Achilles heel to get up and say it. What do you think? What does it say to you about Brad? Who are you going to vote for? Obama. I mean, not because he's black, because he's a good man. Herman okay. Cain, I wouldn't vote yeah. for him. I I'm going to vote for him, too. You know, I wouldn't vote for him. Obama's a good man. But uh, I'm learning a lot on the show today. I didn't know about the hair thing and everything else. Yeah, yeah. so, Brad, what is the hair thing? Well, be, black people have to, yeah, a lot of them have hair issues and have to use wigs or extensions, and it's a really sensitive topic. Now, wait a second. I'm Hang a, tight. I'm Stay a, with I'm me. What, a lot. What's your name? My name is Trey. Trey, don't go anywhere. I'll Brad, be right here. don't go anywhere. Right here. Come here. Because 
Uh, because I just heard you say when he talked about the hair, it's true. Black women have a plethora of issues with our hair. It's true. I know what you're talking about. And I've dated white men, and I had to break it down to them about the hair and no swimming and don't touch it on certain days and don't mess it up. You know what I'm saying? Come on, sisters. Let's be real now. Let's be real. We do. And brother know, too. He know. He know what's up. So it's absolutely true what he's saying. But don't worry about it. If they're your friends, they'll understand, and they'll school you. Okay. Wow. So, 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 Margaret, how did, what do you make of all this that well, just went down? I think it's, you know, what it's good is that you're asking whether or not, you know, these things are true, or you're, you're questioning it, and that's mm -hmm. really important. A lot of people don't get past their fear enough to even question it. So it shows that you are sensitive and you want to know, and see, she just told you, and that's really good information. He just told you, and that's really good to know. So do you feel a little more comfortable? Yeah, I do, because I didn't realize that it was okay to talk about the hair. I just try to stay away from it. Let okay. me do one more thing. Okay. All right, this is the quintessential white guy, black guy thing. I'm going to go shake Trey's hand. <laughs> now, here's what's going to happen. Come here, Trey. Don't shake yet. Okay, not yet. Stay right there. Okay. I'm right okay. Here. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. Inside the white guy's head, it's slow motion. As we go in, and I'm either going to do this, which tells Trey I'm a white guy, Trey saying no, oh my God, panic sets in. What do I do? We're here. Oh, we're here. We're here. Do we, and we're here. And we're here. With the go hug. With the go hug. With and the then, go hug. And then there's the ending. We got one more. Right here. Here. Now wait, after that, oh, you're mic'd. I didn't even need this thing. See, I'm good. Okay. And then after this, uh -huh. this is where I really get lost. because I'm, sometimes. I'm it's pretty tough. good with this part. Look, okay. I can hit you this way, hit boom, here. like Bam. this. Okay. But what I'm not sure is are we going to fingertip it off okay. and, and go, or are we going to come back? Now, this went out. Don't do that anymore. No. No. No, none of that. So we can just fingertip it out. Okay. And then maybe give a pound. Okay, a pound. And then we're good to go. Later, Trey. Later. <laughs> All right. I gotta say, I have never met anyone who was so different backstage than on stage. Than me? Yes. I'm really different. <laughs> she was, that was fantastic. Backstage, I went to say hi. This is my interpretation. Talk about can't say the thing you're not supposed to say. This one I got from Margaret. Yes? How you feeling? Good. You ready to be on the show? Yeah. Okay. Um, anything going on? No. <laughs> okay, and I wa you walked off and I went, oh my God, she's our first guest. And then you come out here and you kill it. That just made my day. I'm so glad. That was funny. She ha I'm not going to say it. I you mean, can't say it. Oh, I can't have you say that. You've said it two times. Have you got Jeff? Closed captioning for the Jeff Probe Show provided by... Ha! Ah, fire bad. <laughs> I just have to fire roast these tomatoes. This is going to give you a head start on your dinner. That seems easier. <laughs> New Progresso recipe starters. Five delicious cooking sauces you combine with fresh ingredients to make amazing home-cooked meals. So, these are Sandra's homemade yummy scrumptious bars, hmm? I just wanted you to eat more fiber. Chewy, oaty, gooeyness, and fraudulence. I meant deep, babe. You certainly are. Fiber one. Church's Chicken Thursday Night Lights on the CW35. Brandeis takes on Stevens. Thursday at 7. Church's Chicken Thursday Night Lights. Presented by Walmart and Pepsi. On the all-new Ricky Lake Show, it's an hour that will change your life. Today's show is all about psychics. Psychics John Edward and Shar make connections to the other side. Picking up on somebody that lost their son. He's really at peace <laughs> and he's really, really happy. Right before your eyes. Oh my God. Next, Ricky Today Lake. at 4 on Fox San Antonio. Sorry, we're not accepting applications at this time. Tired of hearing this? Let CareerPoint help. We are still accepting applications for our vocational nursing class starting October 1st. So if you have ever thought about starting a career in the nursing field, call 732-3000 now. Hi, I'm Veronica, president of the Nursing Club here at CareerPoint College. Why don't you give us a call today and find out how you can start. Call CareerPoint College right now at 732-3000.
My name is Terry, and I'm a satisfied Wainwright client. After two strokes, it was impossible to continue my job. I lost my house, had huge medical bills, and no insurance. So I applied for disability myself and was denied. Thanks to my sister's advice, I called Wainwright. When Wainwright took my case, I felt a big weight off my shoulder. Wainwright opened many doors for me and my family. Wainwright was a godsend. Call Wainwright now. You deserve respect and justice. So we demand it. So what's the big surprise? A new job? No. A promotion? No, but this should lead to plenty of promotions. You're going back to school, aren't you? Next week. That is so great. Where? Lamson Institute. I like the small classes, and I'll be done in less than nine months. I love everything about it, Mom. Looks like you're going to start that new career a lot sooner than I thought. Lamson Institute. Changing futures. Changing lives. Non-attorney spokespeople. Many people believe they are in good hands if they're hit by a careless driver. But if you're injured in a car accident, insurance companies may try and pay you as little as possible. After a car accident, call attorney Chris Pettit. He will fight to get the money you may deserve for doctor bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering. After a car accident, get all the money you may deserve. Call Chris Pettit and Associates at 1-800-INJURED. Call 1-800-INJURED right now. You better call Chris. Variations on the theme today, I can't say that because. So, is not talking about something the way to solve a problem? We saw what it's like when you do talk about it. Shelly Wright tried the other way and that didn't work either. Roll it. Shelly Wright. In 1995, Shelly Wright burst onto the scene as one of country music's brightest stars. Wow, thank you so and much. The Academy of Country Music named her top new female vocalist. For Shelly, it was a moment she'd worked for her whole life. I was a small town girl with the dream of moving to Nashville and becoming a famous country music singer. That dream came true. But for all my success, I was left wrestling with a secret. A secret that she tried to pray away. Dear God, please don't let me be gay. Afraid to be the person she really was, she decided to give up on love and devote herself to music. This was my plan. If I can't have love and be who I am, I'll have my music, and that will be my love. Her perseverance and amazing talent led to a string of hits. It's a white female. But despite the success, the stress of keeping her secret was too much, and music was no longer enough. For most of my 39 years, I've hidden my sexuality because I thought I had to. Eventually, she found the courage to come out. Shelly is opening up about the more personal side of her life. It's all in a new autobiography, Like Me, Confessions of a Heartland Country Singer. Now, with her life an open book, she's fighting for a new cause. <laughs> Shelly Wright, great documentary called Wish Me Away is what really got me excited about having you on here. Your story is so powerful, but just a couple of highlights to set up why you're here. One of the things that really touched me is that at 10, you knew you were gay, yeah. you believed it was wrong, sure. and one of the things you say in, in the documentary is, so I just decided I wouldn't have love, so music would be my consolation. Yeah. Can you go back to that feeling as a 10-year-old and remember the isolation? I can, and uh, you know, hearing the segment before where you're talking about um, feeling like you don't belong and uh, stereotypes. Um, I knew that uh, the world was not going to be very kind to a young girl from, from Kansas City, Missouri who wanted to sing country music that knew she was gay. Well, and, and the thing is, as a country star, you believe in God and you are an American. You're, you're a proud American. You're yeah. about everything this country stands for. Yeah, yeah. It, got, it got to a point to where you tried to live a false life, yeah. having a very public relationship with Brad Paisley. Yeah, yeah. And so with that, now you're an adult, yeah. and now you're aware I'm living a lie, yeah. but I'm trying to just figure out how to do this. What was that part of your life like? It was excruciating. It was, as I call it in my memoir, uh, repeated crimes that I committed against myself, against my physical self, my spiritual self, my emotional self, my creative self. And it was, it was really painful for me. There's a point in your story where you actually consider killing yourself. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that is incredible, isn't it? That you had a gun in your mouth yeah. because you thought it would be easier. Yeah, I want to make it clear that I wasn't considering suicide because I'm gay, because I had an understanding um, from my maker, God. Uh, into, into my late teens, I realized that I could stop trying to pray the gay away. I, I had an understanding that God was saying, no, you're cool, carry on. But um, I had created this life, Jeff, where it was unmanageable to me. Mm. I, you know, from the outside looking in, I was successful and, and I had relative wealth and success and um, no one knew me. I was alone. Right. I, I had lost the relationship that I'd had, a long 12-year relationship that I had in secret during the, the very zenith of my career, and that fell apart. Uh, love doesn't grow in shadows, I'm here to tell you. Well, so, and, and the thing that brought it all home to why you're here today mm -hmm. is one of the things you said, maybe the most touching thing of all, is the reason, one of the reasons you ended up coming out and doing it so strongly is because you said, I know there's another 14-year-old yes. sitting on a bed somewhere. With a gun that. in his mouth. Yeah. And we know that. You know, we're, we're smart people. We're all paying attention. We know that there are young people um, in the heartland uh, all over the country that, um, that are scared about their future. And my decision to come out was, number one, for me. You know, I'm the, I loved myself enough to know that I could stand up. Um, but a strong number two was for the young people following behind that they, I, I, you know, you talked earlier about I'm a Christian and a country singer, so I can't, you know, the stereotype is I can't be gay, but I can be all of those things. I can be a patriot. I can love my troops. I can have a faith practice. Uh, I can also be, uh, you know, a lesbian that wears dresses and heels. Um, and I'm a country singer, and I, that's who I am. And I thought that, um, that it was incumbent upon those of us who have an opportunity to stand up and fight for a kid who doesn't have a voice to do so. And I couldn't be happier than I did. Margaret, is there, a, is there a kindred spirit here? How old were you when you knew you were gay? I think I knew really early on, too. I mean, I always knew that I was different, but I never really understood it until I was maybe about 10 years old when I, right. I think I started to feel like, oh, this is why I'm being treated differently. I think other kids maybe know even before you, but I, I just applaud you, and I'm, I'm just so honored to even be in your presence. You're just saving lives, and not only your own life, but so many. So thank you for your well, story. <laughs> Margaret, it, uh, I reciprocate that. Um, you will never know that uh, you were one of the ones that inspired me. Oh. As I watched you very courageously be everything that you are, and that's every, you're a lot of things. And you're a compassionate comedian, um, with a, today, chinky hair. She ha yeah. I'm not going to say it. I mean, you can't say oh, it. Oh, I can't have you say that. You've said it two times. Have you God, Jeff. <laughs> He's, oh he learns so nothing. He's a slow learner. <laughs> Seriously. But, but um, your courage and those other people in, in the world who stood up uh, before I did, they made it uh, just that much easier for me. I stand on the shoulders of people like you. It's great to meet you Thank on stage you. today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's attached to my bra strap. What will we do? Oh. And I say to those men, you have the same shot now with me as you had before. Yeah. <laughs> I got to feel it on the border. because of you I'd like to thank Eating Right, Whole Grain, Multigrain Cheerios, my bowl, my spoons. Mom. Are those my jeans? People who choose more whole grain tend to weigh less than those who don't. Multigrain Cheerios has whole grain and 110 delicious calories. More grains, less you. Multigrain Cheerios. Get creamy, dreamy peanut butter taste in Multigrain Cheerios peanut butter. Creativity has no limits. Success is doing what you love. Create the life you dream of. For me, it was the best decision I ever made. Call us at the Ogle School of Hair, Skin, and Nails.
210-424-0515. Real members are saving real money on auto insurance through AAA. I was pretty shocked to find out that I... I have a friend that has an ear infection. If I borrow his earbuds, can I get an ear infection? Can you stop an infection before it spreads? Well, that was Brad who has a question. And Dr. Wood, I'm going to ask you, what's the ver is what? Brad at risk for an ear infection from his buddies? I mean, that's buddies. a great question. I mean, who? I was going to save $400 with AAA. I thought that it was going to be much more expensive. With AAA, I saved $300 a year. $200 goes a long way, especially in this economy. Bam, this is what I can do for you. And I was sold. <laughs> At AAA, saving money matters to our members, so it matters to us. Switch, and you could save up to $379 on auto insurance. That could be hundreds better than GEICO, Farmers, even State Farm. I have my house insurance. I have my car insurance. It was a no-brainer for me to go with AAA. Oh, I love AAA so much because it's enabled us to do other things with that money. Low rates and member discounts? There is just so many ways to save. I'm glad I switched. What are you waiting for? Join the thousands who are saving. Call 888-235-9634 for your free quote. AAA Insurance. So easy, so smart, so switch. Could you live this way? That is your house. That's crazy. Max hasn't bought anything new in five years. We had a secondhand wedding. The cost of our wedding was $159. Wow. Wednesday on the Jeff Probst Show. Uh, variations on a theme today is you can't say that. It's inappropriate. Shelly Wright is with us. We're talking about all sorts of things that you can't say, including when you're a country music star, you can't say I'm gay. It's frowned upon. Yes. yes generally. Yes. And to be clear, the impact has been felt since you came out. It, it has been, but I try to focus on the positive that uh, my life is, I feel really alive and I'm able to advocate and no one will ever stop me from writing and making country music. Good for you. Well, we brought somebody here today because there's sort of another part to this story. Shane is 15 years old, goes to high school in Missouri, where there is a don't say gay bill up for vote. Shane, thanks for being here. Welcome. So it's really right in line with this. You can't say that because there is actually a bill that would say the schools that you're in, it's in, it's in Tennessee and Missouri, right? Yes. That say you can't say I'm gay. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And so as a 15-year-old, how hard is it already to be a woman in school who's getting, are, were you already getting bullied and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, when high school started, like, my very first day of school, I was pushed into a locker and called a fag. It's, it was normal for me. Um, that's just how it was. And what's, why is that? Let's get really cut through it, okay? Because on this show, you can say whatever you want. That's why we're doing this show. So when you say people start bullying you right away, why do you think that is? What is it about you that instantly people start picking on you? Well, it's, it's because I um, probably wear the men's pants better than they do. <laughs> <laughs> so give us, a, give us the lowdown of what this bill is yeah. in these two states. Uh, the bill, the Don't Say Gay bill, had, uh, had a showing in Tennessee last year. Uh, my, the state I moved to after I, I left Kansas and Missouri. Uh, and then now I see it showing up in my home state of Missouri where, where Shane goes to school. Should it pass, there will be no discussion about LGBT issues in public school. It's a bad bill for the school, it's a bad bill for students, and it's something that we've learned in, I, I, I'm a board member of GLSEN. You're familiar with get the Gay and Lesbian Straight right. Education Network. The work that we do in schools to ensure that every student has a, a, a safe space where they can talk about who they are and form friendships based on authenticity, it proves that kids do better when they feel safe. This bill, should it pass, will make, make it outlawed to acknowledge the differences of people like Shane and like me. Okay, so in doing that, in not being able to recognize the differences, teachers will not be able to step in and stop the bullying based on those differences. So you it's see? sort of like I'm blind to everything. I just, I see right. nothing, we talk about it. So Shane, 
What is that? What would that mean to you? Would that that would mean no support? I think that it's a terrible bill. Um, I personally started a GSA at my school last year, a Gay Straight Alliance. It's a club for gay people like me to come and feel welcome, for them to just have a place to support, and for straight people that are allies of us to come and help us as well to show that we're not scared of who we are. And if this bill were to pass, it would take the GSA away, and it would be tragic to all the LGBT teens in the school. Um, I'm curious, Let, let's use our COPA. Let's do the court of public opinion here. Question is, would you support a vote like this? Would you support a don't say I'm gay bill? Meaning, yes, that sounds good. Let's don't talk about being gay in school. That's crazy dangerous. Put yes. If you think this is absurd, and I don't do this for me, do it for you. This is anonymous. Nobody knows who's saying what. I'm really curious. If you think no way should this be out, we need to talk about what this is, not because it's a big issue, it's just because it's real, it's life, then vote no. Yes, I would support it. No, I wouldn't. I'm really curious. We have 134 people here. Throw it up there, Brian. 94% say no. Okay, you know who I'm looking for. 6%. Anybody brave enough now to say they voted that they would support this? If you don't want to, it's okay. Really curious. Brian, get a shot. Show the camera. Show everything. We have 134 people in this audience, and this is the problem. We make this anonymous so we get the truth. I like the truth. Then when pushed a little further and said, is there anybody here who would be willing to step up and say it was me? Silence. That's the problem, isn't it? This is what Shane and I were talking about backstage. Um, a lot of unfair things have happened in, in human history, in American history in particular, in secret. It's, it's easier to sit at home and not like someone, not approve of them, condemn them and talk about them when no one knows that you're saying it. But it, uh, I want you to take a minute for those 6% who voted that way. In, in no way does this make me angry. I'm not upset with you. But I want you to imagine a day in the life of Shane. I want you to imagine your niece, your nephew, your son, your daughter having to go to school, being told that who they are must remain not even a whisper. It can't be spoken. Brian, put my wife up. This is what it feels like to me. Show a shot of Lisa. Lisa works on this show. That's her office. We put a camera in there. That would be like saying to me, you can't love her. It's just not allowed. If I went up to anybody, and said, okay, you can't marry your husband because he's too tall yeah. or because he has dark hair. Yeah. It's such an arbitrary thing. And this is one of those moments where I think you either get up and you, you become a part of it mm -hmm. or you stay in the, in the shadows and you don't. Yeah. May I play devil's advocate yeah. about the 6%? This is my guess, that if someone were to stand up and say why they pushed that button, I think they would make an argument, because I've heard this argument, that schools should be reading, writing, and arithmetic. But... We treat the whole student. We, we, we look at the whole child. We have counselors. We have after-school programs. We have sports. We have cooking clubs. We have Fellowship of Christian Athletes, of, of which I was a member. We're not just doing reading, writing, and arithmetic in school. We're talking to young humans who are about to go out into the world, and we need to give them a snapshot of what it's going to look like. I got asked. Brad, Brad, you were so vocal about the white-black thing. How do you weigh in on this? I think people are just afraid. People are afraid of someone like, I mean, because she's different. Yeah. You look in society's mind as this beautiful, straight woman, and... But I'm not. Very gay. But, very, but very gay. But you're gay. <laughs> And I would like to say that I think Shane is dressing like a woman. Shane is dressing in the way that makes her feel um, best. Right. Well, I agree with you. 100%. I agree with you. I, one last thing on you can't say that. Like, so what happens if I was single and I see you in a bar and I come up and I say, hey, so how's it going? And I, right. uh, what, what do you say to me when I say the thing which is going to get a brick wall, which is, hey, would you like to go out? Uh, I would say thank you, but uh, no thank you. Um, you know, I've had a lot of guy fans 
I mean, you're very cute. Your, your wife is gorgeous. Make a cute couple. Anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> I had a lot of male fans who had a high level of rage about my coming out, and they're mad about it, and they say, dang it, what a waste. And I say to those men, you have the same shot now with me as you had before. <laughs> no. Shelly's documentary, Wish Me Away, is available on iTunes. It is a great flick, and if you want to know more about what she's talking about, you can go to jeffprobst.com. This next thing I think is, is going to be controversial, hopefully not for anybody here, but it might be. Oh, thanks, Margaret. There's an art to making them making it, so give her the some man words. think that it's okay. his idea. The good old ultimatum. <laughs> Closed captioning for the Jeff Probst Show provided by... But Jen's car wasn't handling well. So I brought it to Mike at Meineke. We gave her car a free road handling check. I like free. Free is good. My money, my choice, my Meineke. To avoid dental problems, my dentist gave me Act Sensitive. The soothing, alcohol-free formula has maximum fluoride to rebuild enamel, and it's gentle on my sore mouth. New Act Sensitive. Lousy job, no real experience, you have a big problem. CareerPoint has the solution. I decided it was time to have a better life for my kids and myself. Getting the college education definitely helps. It's helped me better understand the things that I need to build my career. If you want a better future, call CareerPoint. Career training in as little as nine months. Change your life. Call CareerPoint College, 732-3000. I work at the cable company, and I get to wear a hard hat. A question, already. My mom says cable can't bundle cell phones. You mean wireless voice service? Uh, nobody does that. Mom says AT&T does, so... Oh. Oh. Call to get our U-verse Triple Play for $89 a month for 24 months. Now get the same great price for two years and get more choices than cable, even add wireless voice. Plus switch and get a total home DVR included free for life. Oh, I, I bring TV to you. Mr. Roy, with U-verse TV, you can record up to four shows at once on a single DVR and play them back on any TV. Miss Jones has U-verse. Call to get our triple play for $89 a month and get the same great price for two years, plus a total home DVR. And Uverse has more HD channels and cable, too. I want at and Who wants to talk to a fireman? I do. No Choose the bundle that fits your life. Career Quest is now Quest College, bringing more to your future with programs in vocational nursing, medical coding, and billing specialists, medical assisting, and nurses' aid. At Quest College, your uniforms and equipment are provided for you. Quest College offers day and night classes. You get lifetime placement assistance at Quest, and financial aid is available for those that qualify. Remember, Career Quest is now Quest College. Call Quest College now at 366 2701 and bring more to your future. Time for little guys on the couch answering questions from women looking for Chase and Trey. Trey, come on up. I didn't realize you were going to be a guy on the couch. Now, Steve, wait, there, you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. And oh, bam. Wait. Thank you. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. You got it. You but now it. the Trey and I are bros. We just do this. <laughs> we just pound. It's like, what up, bro? Pound it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chase, you're 33, single. Newly single. Newly single. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Trey, you're married. Married, yes. All right. So let's get to it. Let's find Tatiana. Hmm. Ah, Tatiana. Hold on. Oh. Pete will get over there with the mic. All right, what's your question, Tatiana? Hi. Um, so my question is, I've been in a relationship now for about eight months. Uh, my boyfriend, he's a medical contractor who travels. And so in about three months, he's going to be relocating somewhere. Mm. Jeez. So I'm open to traveling or going wherever he goes. So my question is, how do I um, bring that up to him or ask him without scaring him too much? <laughs> That's a great, beautiful question. <laughs> so you're really saying you want to let him know I'm in. We're serious. And um, I, the way I feel about him, I hadn't felt that way from anyone else. So the scenario is, got a guy I really like, he's moving what do I say? That's a very thin line to cross because you can definitely scare him away. <laughs> no guy wants to hear the commitment questions like that. You know, do I go? Do I? That's tough. That's tough. There's no easy way to do that at all. No easy way at all. Um, right. What yeah. would you want? 
Wow, that's a, well, I've been married six years, Jeff, and I, I'm still trying to figure out what happened, so. <laughs> Man, um, I would want, it's a certain way, you gotta do it gently, okay, without just saying, look, I'm moving all my stuff to your place, wherever you're at. I got my dog, I got my cats, we're all going. You don't wanna do it that way, right. for sure. So say it nice, you know, say, what's, what's next in our relationship? Where is this going? You know, kind of bring it up like that. Normally, I would say <laughs> just never bring it up, or if you do, very, you know, tread lightly, because... We, but he's we, moving. Yeah, but this, I think you need to know where you're living in three months. That's, that's really important. So I think, I think you have to do, you have to dial up the pressure a little bit, but there's an art to making them, making it, so give her the some man words. think that it's okay. his idea. The good old ultimatum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, okay, so... Now there's two, so there's two approaches. Uh -huh. Trey is saying on one hand, ultimatum. <laughs> Are we in or we're out? If you want to be move, with me, I'm going. If not, then hey, go by yourself. No man wants to be alone. So yeah, so the ultimatum, back me to a corner and we're stubborn. So you may have to do that. I would say you never give a man an ultimatum ab about that normally. <laughs> but, but you know, you're either moving or staying here in three months. You need to know where you live. You need to make plans. Um, I, I agree with him. You got to dial up the pressure at this point. Well, either way, I'll be happy with it because I want his honesty. If he still really, truly cares about me, then it'll work out either way. This would be a good so. test, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough question. That's a good that question. Good That's tough. Tatiana, what, what I would say to him is, to give you some words, I would say, all right, we've, we're in this. Clearly, we're dating each other. You're moving, and we have to make a decision and we, I want to talk about it. And I'm open, and I'm going to say something that every guy's told me is going to scare you, mm -hmm. which is I'm actually open to moving to that city, and I, your heart is probably pumping through your chest. I also want you to know I'm okay staying behind, and we see what happens. But if I stay behind, I'm probably going to be open to meeting other guys because I'm not going to wait. Eight months is long enough to get an idea. Right. That will definitely put pressure on him. <laughs> well, how did, okay, how did that sound from the women? Yeah. Tatiana, did that help? It did, thank you. All right, next question. Uh, <laughs> Meredith. Meredith, we got the microphone from Pete. All right, Meredith, lay it on it. What's your question? Hello, guys. Hello. I'm not a virgin, but I'm saving it for marriage, and guys are having a hard time with that. Is that a deal breaker? So you're not a virgin, but you've decided now I'm going to stop until I am married. Yes. Wow, interesting. What made you stop? Well, I've was just it growing that bad? up, my grandmother, her teaching, so I've oh. been trying to do it since I was a teenager, but kind of meet guys here and there over the years and <laughs> broke it. So, yeah, so it's see. kind of a moral thing that you've decided, this is how I want to live my life. Yes. And the fact that I'm not a virgin doesn't change the fact that I don't want to have sex from this point forward until I find the right guy. Yes. Okay, that's a tough Ooh. one, isn't it? it that is a tough one. I actually fell in love, probably my first love was, was with a woman. We're still best friends to this day, but loved her. We were great friends. We just were not sexually compatible. And that would be a really tough thing to figure out after, our, after we got married. So I was thankful that we, that we figured that, that out soon. Because sex is such a part of a relationship. It is a very important part of a relationship. Does that concern However, you? I would also say to, to stick with your ethics, because it never feels good to, to go against your own, your own ethics. So you should always stick to what you believe is true. But if, if, if it's a game or, or, or a way you think is a, a great way to have a relationship or build a relationship with a man, um, from my experience, it, it's not. Shelly, as, well. as a woman, what do you do in that you've come to this place in your life where you don't want to have sex, but like Chase says, it is a part of any relationship. I really applaud your moral compass and your reasoning for doing it. And, you know, I think you um, take each relationship you have um, and share with him what your, what your integrity is. Speak your integrity to him, and you're going to find a guy that thinks that's wonderful. But I, I'm with Chase and the, the rest of the panel. Sex is a very important part of a relationship, and chemistry isn't always there with someone you want it to be with. Yeah.
Meredith, I'm always curious if guys on the couch ever helps. Does that, what do you take away from this? Well, um, I disagree with the, I mean, sex is good. I love it. It's great. I'm not saying <laughs> I don't want to have it. I want to have it. I want to have it all the time when I'm married. Um, but you can make sex good. You know, so, so you're not afraid of this. I'm not afraid. You're just looking for it. So really, Shelly's answer is the answer, which is be honest and be upfront. I think both these guys have, have said it's going to be harder to meet guys who want to invest. On the flip side, maybe you're just getting rid of them faster than investing all that time. Yeah, I am. Ambush Adventure is next. I know who we're ambushing, and Trey, you're going to be a part of it. <laughs> What we want is three or four people on the couch and me and the ambush adventure person. Yep, we can do that. Perfect. All right, let's load this up with black people. Okay. Fox Monday, a divorce lawyer's murder puts Booth and Bones Fun. under the microscope. Hey, is everything okay here? FBI, angry FBI. All new Bones, then, to protect her family. I can't do this. I'm covering up a murder. Dr. Grace Devlin's gonna have to get dirty. That's exactly what you're gonna do. The Mob Doctor. Tonight, beginning at 7 on Fox San Antonio. It's Family Feud with host Steve Harvey. Survey says watch me, Steve Harvey, on Fox San Antonio. Today at 5 and 5.30 on Fox San Antonio. Follow Fox 29 News on Facebook. Sorry, we're not accepting applications at this time. Tired of hearing this? Let CareerPoint help. We are still accepting applications for our vocational nursing class starting October 1st. So if you have ever thought about starting a career in the nursing field, call 732-3000 now. Hi, I'm Veronica, president of the nursing club here at CareerPoint College. Why don't you give us a call today and find out how you can start. Call Career Point College right now at 732-3000. Are your most important tools in danger? Carpal tunnel syndrome can cause hand tingling, loss of function, permanent if not treated right. Brown Hand Center is renowned for the patented Brown procedure for carpal tunnel. They treat carpal tunnel endoscopically from the inside. It takes just a few minutes, typically no stitches, little or no pain, Hand use the next day, no restrictions in seven. The right treatment, the right place. Call Brown Hands in for an appointment today. Every parent knows the feeling. You look away and your child is gone. Imagine if he or she was actually abducted. Sign up at foxsanantonio.com. Click the wireless Amber Alert link and get free Amber Alert text messages on your cell phone. If you did help an abducted child get home, just imagine what his parents would be feeling. Wireless Amber Alerts. A child is calling for help. Non-attorney spokespeople. If you were injured in a car accident, call attorney Chris Pettit for the help you need. If you were injured in a car accident and are experiencing headaches, neck and back pain, or a broken bone, you need an experienced attorney on your side. Attorney Chris Pettit has helped thousands of car accident victims. If you were injured in a car accident, he will fight to get you the money you may deserve. Injured in a car accident? You better call Chris. Call attorney Chris Pettit at 1-800-INJURED. Call 1-800-INJURED right now. Time for an ambush adventure. I know who I'm ambushing. Brad, come here. Come up here, brother. OK, so here's the deal. Okay. You've been very brave today Yes. in talking about your apprehension with asking certain questions of certain people, typically black guys, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, or, or people of color, as you said, or African-American if they're from Africa, but sometimes you're not sure and you don't want to yeah. say that. Okay. <laughs> so, I have an adventure for you. Here's how the ambush adventure okay. works. You have to say yes to the adventure before you know what it is. If you say yes, you must complete the adventure. If you don't, you disappoint not only me, but yourself. Yes. You're in. So. You're in. Okay. So, I want you to watch your adventure come together, okay? So just okay. stand right here and you begin to let your imagination go. Okay. Trey, uh, up on the couch, would you? Do you mind? No, no, not a problem. Do you mind going up on the couch? You, what's your name? Uh, Margo. Margo? Yes. Up on the couch? Um, do you mind going up on the couch? Okay. Hello, hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Up on the couch? Come on. You mind coming up? All right. Hello there. All right. Let's load this up with black people. Okay. 
How, how you doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, okay, you doing? so Brad, you your adventure oh, is okay. you have 60 seconds to ask any question you've ever wanted to know about a person of color. Okay. okay. Oh, man. Y'all ready? All right, Brad, okay. let's quit being shy. Get to the okay. good stuff. All right, um, would you say, black, well, this, uh, how are you going to compare? But did black guys have bigger? Delivered by Papa John's. Earn free pizza fast with Papa Rewards only at PapaJohns.com. Hey, Peyton. Welcome back. Thanks, Papa. What are we going to do to kick off this season? Same thing as last season. One million free Papa John's pizzas. Good idea. Two million free pizzas. I like it. No, 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 no. One million free Papa John pizzas. Two million pizzas it is. Let's do it. All season long, Papa John's has two million free pizzas for Papa Rewards members. Sign up now at PapaJohns.com where a large meatball and pepperoni pizza is $11 or any large $1 more. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa, Papa John's. John's. Really? Two million free pizzas? Wait till you see what's next. When my asthma symptoms returned, my doctor prescribed Dolera to help prevent them. Dulera, Mometasone Furoate for Motorol Fumarate Dihydrate is for patients 12 and older whose asthma is not well controlled on a long-term asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Dulera will not replace a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms. Dulera helps significantly improve lung function. This was shown over a six-month clinical study. Dulera contains Formotorol, which increases the risk of death from asthma problems and may increase the risk of hospitalization in children and adolescents. Dulera is not for people whose asthma is well controlled with a long-term asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Once your asthma is well controlled, your doctor will decide if you can stop Dulera and prescribe a different asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Do not take Dulera more than prescribed. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve or gets worse. Ask your doctor about Dulera. Lousy job. No real experience? You have a big problem. CareerPoint has the solution. I decided it was time to have a better life for my kids and myself. Getting the college education definitely helps. It's helped me better understand the things that I need to build my career. If you want a better future, call CareerPoint. Career training in as little as nine months. Change your life. Call CareerPoint College, 732-3000. CareerQuest is now Quest College, bringing more to your future with degrees in business administration, medical assisting, and medical information management. At Quest College, materials and equipment are supplied for you, and lifetime placement assistance is there to help you succeed. Financial aid is also available at Quest College for those that qualify. Remember, CareerQuest is now Quest College. Call Quest College now at 366-2701 and bring more to your future. That's 366-2701. Call now. So, Brad, your adventure is okay. you have 60 seconds to ask any question you've ever wanted to know about a person of color. <laughs> Let okay. it rip, brother. You've been very honest today. Don't hold okay. back now. All right. Anything. Well, it's daytime. Too. Okay. <laughs> um, is your skin oilier? Maybe. Then white But people. oil is good for your skin, though, so we got right. good skin. All black people don't have necessarily oily skin. Oh, I think okay. it's, it's a little individual thing, I think. So some black people have dry skin. Yes, Absolutely. yes, like all the other oh, races. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. When we, don't put, know that. <laughs> when we don't put lotion on. I can we get ashy when we don't put lotion on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, um, do you go to a be different beauty salon for mostly for black hair? Well, you know what? A lot of black women do when they have a lot of perms and stuff, but I can I like to do my own hair, kind of keep it, you know. And some, some black women do. So I don't necessarily hang out at the salon all day. It takes too long anyway. A lot of oh, okay. Not not all white salons can do black girls' hair. That's the truth also. Okay. okay. Gotta go to the right one. And a lot of black women find it just more convenient to have the weave, so not necessarily because... It could be because they just don't feel like doing their hair, but it also could be because they want more versatility and they want to be able to just, you know, do it and go. All right, Brad, okay. let's quit being shy. Get to the okay. good stuff. All right. Um, would you say, black, well, this, uh, how are you going to compare? But did black guys have bigger... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say... I'm going to just say that's been science. That is not is true. Not, not always. No. Not always. <laughs> that's been scientifically proven. Wait, it, wait, I, what? I, that's I been proven. That. On something. the news, they you, they did a study of where <laughs> blacks come from, and they usually, it, at, the average is above the average in America. It's like seven and a half, eight. 
So this is scientifically <laughs> proven. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What, I'm just saying. And then the other, it, me, the median is five, and ours is six between six and eight. I'm just saying what it is. Yeah. Awesome job! Yeah. I commend you on your bravery. Okay. Do, you, do you feel a little more comfortable now around black guys? Yeah, I do. I really do. I feel better. I feel, I just felt like I didn't want to be offensive, you know. Let's end this segment by going and give them the handshake that you learned earlier. Okay. Get on up there. <laughs> you never know what will happen when you say yes. Hi, I'm Brad Bartlett, and um, I just had to ask some questions that I've always wanted to know about African-American people and what's different about them and what that I've been afraid to ask for so long. This Fox San Antonio News Update is brought to you by Wayne Wright. I'm Cynthia Lee. Staff Sergeant Jason Manco kicked off the fifth court martial in Lackland Air Force Base's sex scandal. Manco's accused of trying to start a sexual relationship with a trainee. And crews had to cut a